in the year two, if you can recall, in the year 2001, we brought the Canadian, Canadian Vision Care. That's also something like, like Vosch. Uh, we brought them here to St. Martin, whereby uh, we screened the eyes of 3,500 children from the elementary schools and also the secondary schools in 2001. We even uh, also screened the eyes of some senior citizens at that time uh, when they were here, because they were here for a longer period, uh, two weeks' uh, time they were here. And um, so it was a quite successful project, I must say, because uh, some 325 children received gla glasses at that time. And uh, one thing where we're going to have this year is that each child will also get a pair of sun sunshades, sunglasses, yeah, free of charge. Everything is, fr everything is free of charge. Um, I must also say that Canadian, Canadian Vision Care, as well as uh, Vosch, uh, they are uh, linked with, uh, with uh, Lions Clubs International because um, not, only, not, only do they, not only do they do the eye screening, but for instance, um, in countries where, where, uh, where, where, it is, um, where it is permissible, it will not be permissible here, but in, in certain countries like in Jamaica, for instance, Canadian Vision Care carries out lots of to more than a thousand um, cataract operations free of charge. Also through the Lions Club. The Lions Clubs in Jamaica also organize that, and that sometimes it's even on a yearly basis that that is done, that they go to Jamaica, they go to, presently, for instance, uh, they are Canadian Vision Care is in Peru, where they also carry out uh, these type of, of, of projects. Now, um, to go back to, to the question that um, um, Stephen uh, Cerulean asked uh, concerning um, the VSR and the Ministry of Health. Yes, here on St. Martin, you cannot just organize a, um, a project such as this, uh, just like that. You must also have uh, the permission of the Ministry of Health. Um, optometrists who will be carrying out the project do not need to have their diplomas and everything uh, screened and go through any kind of screening. That's why the optometrists will carry out this project. But if, the, if you would make use of the, of, uh, of the ophthalmologist, yes, then of course, you know, the ophthalmo ophthal uh, ophthalmologist will have to be screened. And that is the reason why you cannot just bring these people in and have them start screening eyes, because eyes pertains, of course, to the health department. So they have to give their, their permission also. And we had all the blessings from um, the Ministry of Health. Uh, we had meetings with them also, uh, explaining the project, presented everything to them, and we had their blessings. And we must remember one thing also, that when the eyes of the children are going to be screened, you need to drop, uh, drop some eye drops into the eyes. So that also you would have to get a permission that that can be done, both by the parents as well as by the health uh, department. So that is the reason why we had to involve also the Ministry of Health where that is concerned. I guess the one for the um, education has been explained already. Yes? Yes. And um, so that, that is why we do that. Um, we, uh, as Lions, if I may go back, uh, Lion uh, Davy, a bit. Yeah, briefly, yes, yeah. yes. In uh, 1925, we were challenged by Helen Keller, who was blind, to become Knights of the Blind. So we have been in, in, uh, in sight projects since 1925, whereby we, uh, you know, these kind of projects. Uh, if you may recall, also we collect eyeglasses all over the place here at the banks, at the you know everywhere. We have these boxes where we collect uh, eyeglasses, old eyeglasses. These eyeglasses are sent to uh, recycling um, uh, places uh, in the United States, all over Europe, and they are uh, fixed up and screened again, and they are sent to uh, um, underdeveloped countries where people cannot afford, you know, to mm -hmm. have the ice cream, they cannot afford. And lions in those countries also go there and screen them and distribute these glasses among people in these poorer countries.
So uh, that's also part of our responsibilities as Alliance where the site projects are concerned. TLM, connecting you. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you, whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, -E, powering a brighter future. Our friend Megawati is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. On the um, on the monument uh, uh, topic that you spoke about, mm -hmm. is there any funding or any funding will be asked for to actually restore not only the ones that were toured in Phillipsburg with others that have been either hurricane touched or have been damaged before but there has never been anything to fix them? Um, I believe we have to recognize the, the different um, realities of the monuments. We have monuments that belong to government. We have monuments, of course, such as that belong to homeowners that are privately owned. Um, we have uh, monuments that are owned by companies, such as hotels, for instance, related to Fort Amsterdam. Our monument uh, ordinance, uh, of course, dictates that there is a personal responsibility for repairs and maintenance, and that uh, if you have to engage in, in, in repairs, that you required a monument permit. Now, the current circumstances, of course, of Irma has enormous impact, and indeed we know that homeowners might be challenged. Uh, in that regard, we had already an initiative ongoing out in the last like year, two years, to review and activate a monument foundation that never materialized, uh, because then you can also engage in a conversation about intensed, uh, intensified monument funding which can then be regulated through a framework of how indeed, for instance, homeowners would be able to access it to further complement their challenges to, in order to maintain those costs. 
I've requested the Department of Culture to, to activate that process that we had start, that was started in 2017 uh, in order to see how some of the funds indeed can be ensured, especially for private homeowners. And that's a debate that definitely has to intensify and, and didn't materialize in a, any conclusion as yet. Um, the early recovery fund um, uh, and availability of the funds in the first tranche, in the first uh, phase, as highlighted by the Prime Minister, does include some funds, for instance, for Fort Amsterdam and some repairs there. So it's very uh, minimal thus far, and I do believe indeed that we need to further look into matters and see how we further can complement uh, the needs and, 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 and the costs associated with repairs. That is one of the reasons why we also invited, indeed, the, the conservationist, Mrs. de Jong, to assist us with that and to assess it further, but also to have a regulatory framework, how that can best be done. Because it will be based probably on multi-funding uh, possibilities. What is government's responsibility? Where can we assess, assist? But we have to focus on our own monuments, like such as the salt factory, uh, for instance. And how can we indeed ensure that homeowners can also be further assisted through, for instance, the establishment of a monument fund? are switching to a more rewarding experience. The WIP MasterCard Fun Miles credit card, better known as my card. Earn one fun mile for every $2 spent, even abroad and online. This will quickly get you a ton of fun miles to redeem for travel, shopping, food, fuel, and much more. But there's more to my card. Worldwide acceptance, an EMV chip for extra security, and 250 free fun miles with first use. Switch to my card today at WIB. Many of you might not have known her for a very long time, but since she's been here in St. Martin, she has become very popular as one of the best instructors um, when it comes to sewing. I don't know too much about it. I only know just as much as you know. But you're getting a certificate, I'm not. But um, my mother was a seamstress, so sorry. I grew up around threads and cloth. But since Margarita came here, um, people have known about her and came to her for um, you know, instructions and for her to do work for them. But Margarita has been sewing since she was 12 years old. I won't tell you how many years ago that was, but long, 1990-something. <laughs> um, and she has um, put on several um, shows, um, modeling shows of her own, where she modeled her own um, made garments. 
fun. My yeah. students, I'm so proud, I'm so happy to be standing here with you all today. I mean, from where we've come from to where we are today, you all look so beautiful. Oh, and my daughter. <laughs> okay, um, friends, family, husbands, spouse, everybody, I'm happy to see you all supporting your wives, which is a good thing. I mean, to be there to take care of the children when they had class. I mean, we had fun, we had tears, we had upsets, we had people wanted to walk out. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but we stayed on, we went through, and look we're here today. So I'm happy today to, to call on Christine. Let me tell you a little bit about Christine. Christine. When she started, she wanted to give up. But you know what's good about Christine? She had her mom there with her. And her mom was there as support and like, no, stay, come on, no. And her mom kept encouraging her, which is good to see a mother and daughter team. It was, I mean, really heartwarming for me because not every day you see mothers and daughters, you know, together like this. I mean, Christine, she wanted to give up, she cried. She upset, but we encouraged her, and today, look at her today. She's here with us. Kristen is good at designing. She can draw. She's good at that. And the mom, very good at sewing. So I know that's a team when they come together. Kristen going to design, mother going to make the outfits. You know, so they, they all have a winning combination. So I hope to hear soon. I mean, Kristen designs, sewn by. <laughs> by Jasmine. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Christine. toddlers three and one and I would say Margaret I'm so tired I can't go anymore I'm frustrated I want to stop and I have never seen someone so patient so calm so collected and with a, such a big heart like Margaret honestly she would just yeah. sit me down with a smile and it would just wow. you know half of the frustration would go away and then she would just say this comes with tears, it comes with joy, it comes with everything else, but persevere and you will be happy to the end. And I'm very happy that I had you as a teacher and you helped me to reach this far and to persevere. And I really wanted to say thank you, Margaret, because I would not have made it with anyone else but you. It's your patience, your heart, your kindness that made me get this little diploma today. And I'm proud to say when I'm home, don't worry, I could fix that. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. With a smile. So thank you so much. <laughs> It's been said that behind every door, possibility awaits. How much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank. Discover what's possible. 
One, two, three, four. This is how common it is to develop a mental illness. One out of every four. 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 But there is hope. Today, most mental illnesses can be managed and treated. Visit your general doctor if you feel concerned about your thoughts and behaviors or have some difficulty dealing with some of life's issues. If you have been diagnosed and are suffering from a mental illness, keep in mind these four points to help you manage your mental health. One, get regular checkups with your general doctor. Two, stay on your treatment plan to prevent relapses. Three, find a strong support group in your family and friends. And four, never be afraid to ask for help and looking for the one in terms of your illness. Remember, you are not alone. We are as close as one. Two. Three. Four. Learn about mental health illness by going to the Mental Health Foundation's website at www.mhf-sxm.com. Hello, Sir Martin. My name is Jose Helga and I play basketball. I have organized basketball events in St. Martin. Sport matters to me because it makes everybody come together in unity. So I challenge the businesses community to step up for sports and help us rebuild and repair our facility. I'm also asking the community to nominate local businesses in your area to take on the challenge and step up for sports because sports matter. Check out the Department of Sports SSM Facebook page for more information. Hashtag sports matter, hashtag are you in.
Thank you. 